fish back here. Looks like it ain't been fished in a long time. I wonder how much further we could go without getting stuck. It's the name of the game. Uh, whoa, whoa, what the hell kind of fish was that? I think it was a monster. Ooh, tiny, tiny fish. Tiny fish everywhere. But that was a big fish. I don't even think that was a bass. That was something else. Bunch of bubbles. I wonder if there's a turtle down there. Let's throw the rod a couple times here in this this little part. See what happens. facing the right way. Let's hope we stay like that. I guess it's not our lucky day today, ladies and gentlemen. But it sure is nice out here, though, isn't it? I at least think it is. Very relaxing. Still pretty clear. And, uh, there's a few fish out there, but they're tiny. It's probably one of them been biting my. My little jig, all these little tiny fish. They all seem to bite the tail, but they don't take a, they don't eat the whole thing. So it has to be those little fish I see. This looks like a better place. I need to throw this.
Boop. Got some weeds. Took them off. I thought I had a bite. I thought he was a weed. And for anybody that's wondering, I'm just running on four pound mono. I don't, I don't believe in all that other braided line and the other one because it's uh, lighter. This is what I've been using my whole life. It's never let me down. It doesn't break unless you uh, don't maintain and change your line. So to me, I just I like standard mono. That's what I put on all my rods. Deep sea fishing, lake fishing, it doesn't matter. Catching bass, peacock bass. I know peacock bass ain't up here in the north, but I come from a different world. Put it by him, I'm gonna put it by him. Ah. I keep getting weeds. Right there, right there, you do see that? Man. Let's run this Texas rig real quick. I just think he's going back with too much. What? Did something bite this? Is that what that was? Oh man, something went after the the, <laughs> the crazy bug. Let's try it again. Oh, I hit the rock. Keep it moving. Oh, no. I got out of there. That's one reason I love the Texas rig. Save you a bunch of money on baits. Oh. Oh, oh. Man. 
The other crazy bug was gonna help us today. Oh no. Alright, oh, I got it all. Tell me you Texas free, baby. This thing is uh unstoppable. Let's keep her trucking. Keep trucking. So far we've had a couple of bites on both that little white crappy rig and and the crazy bug. I hope the crazy bug does something good for us today. Man, what a beautiful day. I was so excited to come today again to the park. Oh, I just seen a fish. Whoa, look at what the hell was that? That thing just dove in the water. Wow, look at those fish. Where y'all going? For real, where you going? They're all leaving. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I just wanted to catch one of you. like the end of the road. Whoa. Oh man, what's this? <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that, a bunch of sticks grinding on the bottom of my, of my kayak. Oh, we almost got stuck there. We got this whole other side right here to fish. Boys and girls, this is gonna be fun. Hey, look at that stick in the ground. I should say stick in the water.
Ooh, another little crazy island here. Ooh. What I want to do, I want to do this little see, Oh no, why are we always headed for the weeds and the woods and the trees and the man? Don't get stuck, don't get stuck. This is deep, <laughs> we're in deep water. Don't get stuck. Hmm. I wonder if we throw around this tree. I wanted to throw around this tree when I first saw it. Let's try. Oh, here comes our friend the wind. Whoa! This is blowing us. Thus giving the meaning wherever the wherever the wind takes me. <laughs> Let's hurry up and see what we can do. Come on, seven. What? Well, I got a bite. Oh. No, come on. Take me closer. Taking me away from where I want to be. Oh, see we. Seaweed. Man. Ah! I pinched myself. <laughs> Man, these things are sharp. Tell you what, I got no complaints about this kayak today, ladies and gentlemen. My back is fine, my shoulders are good, my arms are good. And we've been roaming around this lake for quite some time. <laughs> I have no complaints about this kayak. Anybody looking for this paddock and rebel 100 XP? It's a good buy for 400 bucks. I enjoy it. Hey, look, we've been staying in the same spot for the most part.
go try somewhere else right there on that other corner. I won't pinch myself again. Sounds like there's some kittens crying in that corner over there. We caught something, ladies and gentlemen. Check this out. Oh, 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 big stick. We caught a big stick. At least you can't say we went out catching nothing today. Caught a big stick. Look at that. Look at this stick. Look at this stick. Look at that. Look what we just caught. Oh, nice. Let's get this stick back in the water. Uh, 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 uh. Swim away. Got a stick fish. At least that's one for one for today. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Let's keep it moving. Oof. So many noises different when you're in Mother Nature. <laughs> the only thing that I like about the North, you don't got to worry about sharks <laughs> and you don't got to worry about gators. Peaceful things have been a thing and meat for me in the world. Oh, I'm a little too high there, huh? The sound of two strokes and fishing in the afternoon. If you don't like that, then you're not an American. Whoa! I think we lost our jig. <laughs> oh man. It's gonna hit us in the face. Whoa. Let's see if we can retrieve this. I hit this thing dead in the middle. Let's see, where's my 
my stay. Oh, 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 that. Oh. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, I got stuck on another one, but I got it back. That's another thing I like about kayaking. <laughs> you can get stuck on something like this. I get your stuff back. Look. And that was my fault. I hit it. I hit it right in the middle of this thing. And this is some tough, some tough stuff. Oh, damn, I think I only got seven pound mono and that little tiny jig that gets back for nothing. Y'all want to hear a crazy story? The first bass I ever caught here in Michigan, I was fishing in a place called Stepping Stones, and I got tangled up in a tree. And I pulled it, and it came out of the tree, and right where it landed, right along the edge where I was standing, the ba a bass took it. <laughs> it was my first bass I ever caught here in Landon. And unfortunately, it was right when the camera stopped rolling. All I was able to do was get a picture of it before it fell back in the water. <laughs> but it was just funny how it hit the tree and it just went right, right in the water where it hit, a fish swallowed it. <laughs> that was the easiest bass I ever caught here. Oh, we pushed up against the corner. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't say that we didn't uh, we didn't catch something today. We caught a stick fish. It was like a three pounder, you know, about uh, 32 inches long. <laughs> I should have measured it, <laughs> but uh, at least we're, we're we're coming home victorious today. We caught a fish. I mean, uh, a stick fish, but still nonetheless victorious. And another. Uh, Another cool video, man, of uh, a beautiful place that not everybody knows about. You can get away. I haven't even been another single person in this lake with me. I've been by myself. <laughs> so. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Please, if you stay to the end of this video, oh, man, subscribe to me, please. That would, that would be a big help, you know. I really appreciate it, everybody. Thank you, and uh, have a blessed one.